Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Hey, the numbers are in for July and I can tell you we're seeing a late summer surge. And you know what? I didn't have to look at the Board of Realtor numbers to know that. All I had to do was look at my own business. This past month, I spent 10 days in the Canadian wilderness. We were six hours from the nearest town. We had no cell phone service, no Netflix, if you can imagine, and no Wi-Fi. In fact, we had no running water, no furnace, no central air, and the only electricity we had came from a generator. But hey, I had a lot going on business-wise, so I did something I've never done before. I went and rented a Starlink satellite. And you know what? I was able to sell a house, a duplex, and a 66 acre piece of prime development ground. So when I got home, I had a busy month this past month closing transactions. And the surge did not let up. But hey, enough about me. Let's dive into those numbers. For the 16 county central Indiana area, prices are up 2% from a year ago and closings and new listings were both up. Homes are selling in 13 days on average versus like 11 days a year ago, and they're selling at just 1% less than list price on average. Inventory remains tighter than we'd like to see, but get this, it's 24% better than a year ago. Now that's a huge win. In Hamilton County, the median price is down 2%, but closings and new listings, they showed great improvement. They pushed inventory up a whopping 28%. And homes are selling now in 11 days versus seven days a year ago. And they're going off at just about 1% below asking price. So what's working in the real world? Here's what I've seen. For sellers, I found that being a little bit flexible and putting a deal together and a whole lot patient has resulted in deals going down. We were able to put that two and a half million dollar land deal together with a whole lot of creativity, but it sold for cash and get this, it went down in an amazingly short period of just 34 days. And on that duplex, we won the inspection battle. And with that house, we were both patient and creative and did a workaround on the FHA anti-flipping rule. Okay, on the buy side, the difference between winners and losers this past month, drum roll, the winners came ready to play. They had their minds right. So when they did find the house that they were looking for, they didn't hold back. They didn't get all squeamish. They didn't have to think about it. They knew they'd found the house and they wanted it. So we went to work. We wrote up offers that were the most attractive to the seller, but that didn't give our side away. And then we just rolled up our shirt sleeves and went to work to bring that deal home. Now, if you'd like that kind of service, just give me a quick call or text and make it a great day now.